السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back my friends to my YouTube channel Drilling and Work Over This is Abdelaziz Gab I am accredited instructor IWCF will control and IADC will sharp Also I am accredited instructor in IADC mod engineering for basic and advanced mod school Today inshallah we will continue uh, about the revision and the questions for the advanced mod school and basic mod school and actually if you need to go to uh, an interview you should revise all the three or the four videos that we have made uh, through the basic and advanced mod school to check for the questions and also to check about another questions inshallah today inshallah we will talk about this issue uh, number one, number one, uh, complete the uh, following answer. Mechanical stock can occur due to, as I told you, the mechanical stock or the back of stock, okay, can occur due to number A, over pressurized zone, okay. So, or the over pressurized zone, like for example, the shale, like the salt, uh, or what is known as the uh, mobile formations. Number two, reactive formations. Number three, unconsolidated formation. Number four, naturally fractured and faulted formations. Okay. Number two, the differential stock solutions. What are the differential stock solutions? Uh, actually, as I told you in the differential stock, we can make number one, maximize the flow rate uh, or the high GBM to erode or to make erosion for the filter cake and try to. Uh, to work on the pipe with the maximum overball. Number B, activate the jarring by up or down according to the stuck while pull out or run hole. Uh, number C, spot the stuck bills like for example the pie black bill, the pie blacks bill, the easy spot bill, the glycol bill, acid bill, and solvent bills for the oil uh, and oil based mud. Okay. And we have talked about uh, a video, a complete video about spotting uh, bills, and you have to check for it. Number D, reduce over balance pressure by decreasing the mud weight. Okay, to reduce the uh, pressure by decreasing the mud weight. Number four or five, use the YouTube technique to overcome the stuck forces, and so that you can. Uh, get rid of the differential stock. Number three, what are the types of string vibrations? String vibration while drilling. Uh, there are three types. Number one is the axial vibration. Number B is the lateral vibration. And number C is the torsional vibration or what is known as stick and slip vibration. Okay. Uh, number four, what are the types of clays, okay, that you have uh, studied, okay? Number one, which is the most active one, or the uh, the most active one, is the montmorillonite. Number two is the kaolinite, which is the least active one, okay? Number C is the illite, and number D, some mixed layers between uh, some of them. Number E is the attable guide or salt gel, and this is a synthetic one. And finally, the sebulite, and uh, those are the five, uh, the five, the main six or five types of the uh, clays. Okay. Number five, mention the system of jelly drill mud. Jelly drill is a glycol drill uh, mud. Okay, it is the system used in the uh, deep water. Okay. It, you, it, it mainly depends on the glycol based mud to be used, okay? So number A, we use the combination of NaCl and KCl to increase the salinity for making hydrate suppression and also for the osmosis phenomena. Number B, the NaCl and KCl percentage, okay, to adjust the cloud point temperature of the uh, on on the clay surfaces, okay. Of the clay on the surfaces of the shale, okay. Of the uh, so NaCl and the KCl percent to adjust the cloud point of the glycol, sorry, of the glycol on the surface of the shale, okay. 
So this makes uh, the inhibition. Number C, we can add the PHBA. It helps also on capsulation of the shell. And we add the glycol with the, at the defined temperature. It's called the cloud point. It transfers from a state to another state, uh, to another state which is cloudy. And so that it helps in great inhibition for it. Okay. Uh, number six, the swabbing. Swabbing occurs due to four main reasons for the swabbing, and all of them must be on the same time. Number A, high gel strength. Number B, thick filter cake. Number C, narrow annulus or, low, uh, or narrow annulus. Okay. Number D, fast trip out of the hole. Fast pull out of hole with the uh, drill pipe. Okay. Number seven. Mention the system of max bridge uh, technique for BSD or for particle size distribution and for the, the, uh, reducing the uh, differential stock uh, problems. Okay, number A of the components is called LC loop, which are uh, M and F, which is medium to fine. They are used as a bridging material to make a strengthening to the wall of the hole. Okay. So LC loop are used, okay, to help in forming a strong filter cake. The max shield, it makes a plus turning effect, okay, on the boards of the filter cake. So it can be isolated or it can isolate the formation from the uh, open hole, okay. Number C, something is called sulfatrol, which acts as shield stabilizer. And number D, milk carb, which is used as a bridging material also. And number eight, mention the causes of the formation damage in the drilling and completion. Actually, what are the causes or the main reasons? Okay, number one, during drilling, the reservoir with non-acid soluble materials like barite, it can damage the bore throat. Number two, during the cement job, the filtrate of the cement can lead to damage the nearby zone. Uh, number three, during acidizing, okay, the acid can interact or can react with the formation and makes positive skin factor, okay? Number D, during the hydraulic fracture or the stimulation with hydraulic fracture, some propant may lead to damage the formation. And finally, the completion fluid or the completion brine, it must be compatible. If they are not compatible with the formation fluid, they may make scales which lead to a great formation damage. Question number two, complete the following answers. Okay, complete the following answer. Number one, the main goal of the bit hydraulics optimization is to determine, okay, as you see, as we saw in the bit uh, hydraulics optimization, the most controlling agent that we are searching for is to select the nozzle size for the drilling bit and the flow rate. So the main goal of the bit hydraulics is to determine the nozzle size and the flow rate. Number two, maintain the hydraulic horsepower per square inch or HSI, okay, for the bit. What are the value for them? Okay, it can be maintained from 2.5 up to 5. Why? In order to uh, not to make wash out if it is more than five or make bit boiling if it is less than two. So we maintain the value between 2.5 up to five. Number three, bit boiling can be distinguished by no ROB and no torque. No torque and no ROB, whatever you are adding weight on bit. Number four, bit boiling in tricone bit is less than the BDC because the tricone has uh, moving moving uh, cones, but the tri the but the BDC has junk slot area which is static and uh, may the, the the mud may enter the junk slot area and it can be trapped inside it without getting out. Okay. Number five, in power law model, N represents the shear thinning phenomena of the fluid, okay? The shear thinning of the fluid, and K 
represent the rheology at low values, which is here. This is called in is called the uh, flow is is called the power law exponent, and n is called the consistency factor. Okay, so this represents the shear uh, shear thinning, and k represent the uh, rheology at low values, especially the low shear yield point. Number six, in power law model, if n equal one, okay, if n equal one, fluid becomes Newtonian, okay. In power law model, if the n decreases, okay, flow regime becomes laminar to plug flow, okay, because it becomes more viscous and viscous. ECD increases by increasing the plastic viscosity, increasing the yield point, increasing the solids, and the gallon per minute, and other uh, factors. Uh, number nine, hydraulic horse power per square inch is between two and eight. Uh, number ten, when HSI, which is hydraulic square inch, uh, square uh, hydraulic horse power per square inch, decreases below two okay when it decreases below two what will happen bit boiling what will happen bit boiling occurs okay number 12 methods of killing the well what are the methods we use the driller method the weight and weight method the concurrent method the volumetric method and also uh ball heading method so many many types or many methods of the killing of killing the well, but the most common one are the driller and the weight and weight. Okay, number thirteen for killing wells, keep bottom hole pressure constant. You have to keep the bottom hole pressure constant. Number fourteen in driller method. In driller method, okay. Start up the bump from zero rate to kill rate while keeping the casing pressure to be constant. While keeping casing pressure to be constant. Okay. 15. The two circulation method is called weight and weight method. Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is wrong. The two circulation method is the driller method. Okay, while one circulation only is called weight and weight. Okay, so this is the right answer. This is the right answer. Okay, uh, number 16, partic uh, what is the method uses, uh, used to determine the size of the blend of bridging material for reservoir zone? Actually, it's called BSD or particle size distribution. Number 17, the mud weight of the completion fluid can be measured by using the hydrometer. The hydrometer, okay? Number 18, the turbidity considers the cleanliness, okay? The cleanness, okay? Of brine and is measured by using the unit of NTU. NTU and its maximum acceptable value is 30. Okay. Number 19. The temperature at which the first salt crystal formed is called the true crystallization temperature or what is known as TCT. Okay. Number 20 or 20. Uh, corrosion inhibitors of the brine like coat 1400 while for the diesel is called coat 415 okay number 22 filter cake in the reservoir zone is mainly composed by bridging materials and fluid loss reducers number 23 for open hole completion running hole with wire mesh wrapped screen okay run hole with screens after performing production screen tester or BST, and if you if you need to know the test, you have to revise the drill M fluid uh, session that we have already talked before. 
Number 24, pH 4 for mate mud is increased by adding blend of soda ash and sodium bicarbonate. Okay, this is very important. Uh, choose the right answer. Number one, rheological model, which is appropriate for high shear rate values. High shear rate values is the Bingham model. But for the low shear values is the harshly bulkly. Okay, this is the difference between them. Number two, rheological model, which is the most applicable for drilling fluids, harshly bulkly model, or what is known as modified power loop. Number three, the hole cleaning mechanism in horizontal drilling can be okay, conveyor belt salty. <coughs> Salitation and boycott settling, all of the before. Number four, the most difficult angle for hole cleaning in directional drilling is from 30 to 65. Number B, in hole cleaning and of the directional drilling, cutting can make avalanching, especially if the bump is off during survey, during connection, during anything. While bump is off, so the uh, avalanching for the cutting may occur. Number six, KCL and NECL percentage is important in jelly drill, in glycol drill system, okay? Why? To suppress the hydrate, yes. To match cloud point, or so yes. To prevent osmosis phenomena, yes. So all of the before. Number seven. KCL and NACL percentage in important is important in silicate based mud to, to prevent the osmosis phenomena. This is right. And to exchange cations with calcium and magnesium. This is also right. So A and B are the right answer. Number eight. Silicate number eight. Silicate mud has high alkalinity, high pH. It's okay. But it is, there is no calcium in it because it is very sensitive. So number D is the right answer. Okay. So number D, which is A and B, are the right answer. Number nine. All polymers can be added to silicate mud except the BHBA because all of them needs high pH, but the partially hydrolyzed polyacrylamide polymer needs low pH. Number 10, for good hole cleaning, it's, bit, it's better to have, as I told you, low N to get a black flow and the high K to get high low shear yield point. So the good hole cleaning to have low N and the high K. Number 11, power low exponent N, okay, represents the shear thinning of the drilling fluid. Number 12, as consistency, consistency index or K increases, as the K increases, the low shear yield point increases, okay? So number 12 is very important. Number 13, the velocity profile is more flat, okay? It's more flat, not like the parabola, okay? As the flow becomes plugged. As the flow becomes flag, also when the N decreases, because once the N decreases, it will become a plug flow. So the velocity profile is more flat as A and C are right answer. Number 14, the proper for, for proper operation of the D shelter, the discharge flow is spray discharge. Is spray discharge. Okay. Number 15, in centrifuge operation, the bowel has the same direction and the higher speed than the conveyor. Same direction and the higher speed than the conveyor. Finally, and the last question, uh, 16, the annular velocity decreases due to um, increase in the flow rate. This is the wrong answer because it depends on the decrease in the flow rate. Increase the mother rheology, this is also wrong answer. But the formation washout is the right answer. Why? Because the formation washout 
makes the annular to be large and so that the annular velocity will become low. So number 16, the right answer is number A, the formation wash out. Uh, this was, okay, Our these are the questions in basic and advanced mud school that I have prepared from myself. If you have another questions or if any questions uh, you need to know um, or anyone ask you another question, you can send them to me and we can answer them and make other videos for it. I hope these videos can help all of you after revising all the course of basic and advanced mud school to go to uh, the interview and make good interview and inshallah you will get a good job. Thank you very much my friends and I hope to see you later inshallah in other lessons. Until this moment, uh, keep subscribe, keep share the channel, keep subscribe into the channel. If this video appeals to you, please share, like, subscribe. It's your channel, not mine. Thank you very much and goodbye.